What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning back into the Hook 937 YouTube channel. Coming to you today with a quick video. A couple of years ago I shot a video called MSD wires for your LS2 motor. And the video did pretty good view wise, but when I go back and watch it, I'm not too happy with how the content turned out. So I'm gonna reshoot that video today. What I have here is my buddy's 2006 Pontiac GTO. This is the LS2 motor, six liter, aluminum block with a 1.9 liter blower on it. This car made right at like 500 horsepower to the tires on the dyno. And I got it here today to do a tune up for him. What most people do when they get one of these cars with a LS2 motor or any vehicle with an LS2 motor, and they wanna run the MSD wire because it is a popular wire, is they'll get these. This is like a 32819. So they'll get these. These are made for the LS1 motor and, and, and they'll put these on. And these do fit the LS2 motor. However, the wire is very tight. <clears throat> so what I like to run is this 32829. This is for a GM truck, whether it's a 4853 6 liter, doesn't matter. All the trucks are the same. But and something we know is the coil height on the LS2s is higher than on the LS1s. So these wires are a little longer. Well, as you can see, they're a little longer. And I personally believe that they fit really well on the LS2 motor, but I'll let you guys decide what you think. I'm gonna go ahead and get to gapping these spark plugs, get these spark plugs in the motor. And then once those spark plugs are in, I'll come back to you guys and show you the difference between the MSD's LS1 wire versus the truck series wire. And you can decide for yourself which one you think looks better on the LS2. In the meantime, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell so you don't miss any of the content. We got a lot of cool stuff. I'm actually getting ready to edit a video of my buddy Dodgers 2JZ Swap 4Runner, which is killing it on Drag Week right now. It'll be a dyno video um, before he went to Drag Week, and I'll show you guys what the new motor's making um, before he put it on kill. It, just a, it was a good solid dyno tune. And uh, But also do me a favor and leave me a thumbs up. Help me out with the YouTube algorithm. But I'll be back to you guys here in just a moment with these spark plugs installed and show you guys the difference in the wires. All right, guys, so I got all the spark plugs installed. I went ahead and did the spark plugs and wires on the other side. Um, from where the camera's mounted at, you got a really good shot at coil two, spark plug two. I'm gonna go ahead and install. This is the LS1 MSD wire. So you can see if I, there it is, it's on the spark plug and you can get it up to here but if you'll notice as i'm pulling that up this isn't relaxed anymore i'm i'm pulling up on that wire so that's installed and it's it, it's it's relatively tight so we don't and i've seen them actually tighter than that and this is the truck series wire although it is a good bit longer there it is installed on the installed on the plug and then we bring it up here like that and we can see there that the wire's long enough that everything's relaxed it's got a little room for movement and when the motor flexes we're not going to have any issues with that i'm gonna go ahead and install the rest of these and show you guys what they look like Hey guys, a little bit after the fact here, changing the oil on the car, and I just wanted to get another angle and show you guys the difference in these wires because I realized that I never moved the camera. So this is the MSD's LS1 wire, right? I just want you to see how tight that wire is, how it's pulling up on that boot, short wire, which, it, and it works on the LS1. And these, although they look a little long and they have a little uh, wrap back to them, there's no clearance issues. They're not hitting any heat source and they look, I think they look better. So number one, I can, <clears throat> although the spark plug wires will likely perform the same, they're both MSD wires, they're both 8.5 millimeters. The truck series wire, I believe personally, will actually perform better because you will never have an issue where it's so tight that as the motor rocks, it could potentially come off of the tip of the spark plug. The grip on those isn't the strongest grip in the world. So my personal opinion, you guys decide for yourself. These wires are uh, just like a hair long, but I personally think that they look decent. We're not 
pulling up on that. It's straight out. We got clearance to any heat source. It's not so tight that it's the motor rocks. A little bit extra wire looks pretty decent. We're tight on the coil and that's the difference there. Just wanted to point that out. Cool guys, so there they are. I like how they kind of do the loop and come back. Um, this engine bay is a little busy being that it's supercharged and it's got an inner chiller and the intake's coming over here. When I did it on my car, I had an intake that came straight out. I'm gonna drop a video of how it looked under my engine bay in there. Um, mine was a lot cleaner, but I wasn't making 500 horsepower. You start adding blowers and stuff and you make a lot more power. It does get a little busy, but it's worth it. Uh, my car is turbo now and it's a lot busier, but it makes a lot more power and I think it's worth it. Something I wanted to point out, a reason why you would do this is so the MSD wire, and these ones actually, I think these coils are sitting a little lower than mine were, but the MSD wire for the LS1 motor on an LS2 engine typically is so tight that as things heat up and expand, you can have an issue getting on and off the throttle with the motor rocking that will cause one of those spark plug wires to become disconnected and give you a misfire issue. And that's actually one of the issues we were facing here was a misfire issue with this um, car. So I'm gonna go ahead, start it up, buzz it around the block, make sure everything's good. Last thing we got to do, make sure the two-step still works and then take it for a little test drive. <clears throat> so this video is a little bit past what it was initially intended to be if you're still watching. I appreciate you guys uh, checking it out. So my buddy's complaint was that it kind of had a little bit of a stumble or a misfire from a di or from a low RPM uh, to wide open throttle rip. So I messaged him and said, hey, I'm gonna make a video. He said, go ahead, do it. Um, so we're just gonna take it up the road. Uh, nothing crazy, give it a couple little pulls, make sure it's good to go. Go ahead and get it in second gear. Woo! Let's try it again. We're pretty low on the RPM, but let's... Man, what an absolute pleasure it is to drive a supercharged LS motor. David, if you're watching the video, man, I appreciate it. Appreciate you letting me work on your car. Appreciate you letting me uh, take it around the block, do a little video on it. For everybody else, do me a favor, like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the little bell so you don't miss any of my uh, post notifications uh, when we make a new video. Like I said, we're going to be making a video of Dodger's 2JZ swap Toyota 4Runner, uh, which is absolutely killing it on race week right now. Just an amazing vehicle. Uh, for real, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up so that you help me out with this YouTube algorithm stuff. And please subscribe to the channel. We're so close to a thousand subscribers and I could use your guys' help getting there. Everybody else who's already subscribed, I appreciate you subscribing and we'll catch you guys next time.